What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. Pottery video. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. We are getting so close to having our new studio done. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so awesome. What are we doing today? We're glazing. We're glazing this giant pot. Let me, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go. Here it is. Made from 25 pounds of clay. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was gonna be slightly larger, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out so far. So today we're glazing this. It is heavy. Before we get into today's video, I wanna thank our sponsor, Continental Clay. Thank you to Continental Clay for supporting me. They make clay glazes. They do lots of different things, but go check them out, continentalclay.com. I'll be at their booth for Ensika, which starts tomorrow, which when this video goes live, it will start today. I'll be at their booth throwing pots. So if you're at Ensika, Thursday and Friday, come by Continental Clay's booth and you can see me throwing some pots. I'll give you a sticker. Thanks, Continental Clay. You guys, you guys the best. Um, we're doing Canyon Skies Glaze. So, so this piece is for a local church and they're doing a, uh, they're doing a series like called Twisted Jesus, I think. And uh, so they saw that I was doing this twisted stuff and so I did that. So we're gonna glaze it in this color, the canyon skies. So I'm pretty excited. So hopefully what we want to happen is, you know, that really deep brown on the bottoms, but then we want to get those drips coming down there. Oh, and the handprint in there, that's that's supposed to signify like God's hand in our lives. And then there's also a cross on the inside. Can you see that? All right, so let's get to it. The last time I did a really giant pot, I poured, I used one hand like this, and then I like poured it around. But I think this time, I'm gonna use the wheel. So I'm gonna use this, and then just like put it on here. And then as it spins, I'll pour it. And then the, this tray will catch the drips. So we're gonna try this out. And I'm gonna take you along with me. Let's do it. Got the inside. Now this would be really, really bad if I stepped on it and got it going really fast. So I'm gonna try not to do that. Okay, so just as it turns, I'm just gonna pour it probably just right here really slowly. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. I could have waxed the bottom of this but I didn't. How's it going? Did we get it all? Oh, got a little spot right So now I think I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Because now, now I wanna do another layer of like matte white once this dries. Like probably right up to there. Should I pour it on or what should I do? Well, I guess we might as well clean this, clean this up. That's kind of a lot of work to, uh, clean this tray every single time. So, if we're putting three layers. So I think I'm gonna do it now how I did the other pot where I hold it and then pour and then just like spin it and pour the next glaze. Uh, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it. Am I right? Who else hates cleaning? 
comment below if you hate cleaning. But it's so, so necessary in this ceramic art world. I also kind of want to do a little around the inside edge too. All right. Now we just got to let this dry really good, which this glaze has a tendency to take a while to dry. We're going to let it dry for a few hours, probably glaze a bunch of other stuff, and then we'll get back to it. Alrighty, does that sound like a plan? We just glazed all those mugs. You saw me do that in super fast. Probably took me 25 minutes, 30 minutes, but you saw it in like five seconds. Uh, and then now this pot's dry. Whoa. That's one of the really important things. Whenever I have issues, it's often because I didn't let a layer dry first. Like sometimes if you apply glaze to another glaze that's kind of wet, then there'll be either pinhole issues or um, running issues. I wonder how long I can hold this for. Oh, we're gonna put the last layer of this on. So we're gonna put buttercream on it, do it around the outside, do it around the inside, and then I think we've probably got enough pots to fill this kiln up. Between, I got a layer of mugs in there already that are done. All these mugs, and then this will take up a pretty big chunk. A pretty big chunk! All right, let's do it. Did we get it all? Plus a little on my arm? Yes, we did. Kind of missed like a little spot right here. Missed a little spot right there, but I'm kind of wondering if I don't really care. If there's gonna be enough going on, I think I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> all right, that's it, guys. That's it, we're gonna load this guy in the kiln. After we wa wash the bottom off a little bit. All right, friends. Well, that is it for this video. This kiln is full with that giant 25 pound piece in there. So super excited to see that when it comes out. Unfortunately, I'm filming this video today and it's gonna, I'm gonna edit it today and it's gonna go up tomorrow. So you're not gonna be able to see the finished piece in this video. It's just how it works. You know, sometimes you gotta be patient. So tune into the next kiln unloading, which will probably be next week after the seek is over and uh, I'll pull all this stuff out of here, show you how it came out. Um, yeah, some people comment on my videos sometimes, they're like, oh, I'm always disappointed by your videos because you, you don't do the whole process in every video. And it's like, I just would never get any videos done if I tried to like include the getting the clay ready, the throwing, the drying, the bisque firing, then the glazing, then the finish. Like sometimes that process is like two and a half weeks long. So I apologize. I have to be patient and wait for my pots to get out. So you do too. That's just the way the pottery process works. So shout out again. Thanks to our sponsor, Continental Clay. Super excited to hang out with them at Ensika. If you're gonna be at Ensika, go check out their booth. Uh, check out their website, continentalclay.com, in the description of this video. Thanks to Continental Clay for making all these videos possible. Subscribe, like, comment, all the things. And until the next video, go have an adventure.